Each product or production step adds certain features and benefits, and it all starts with hot roll. Hot roll black, or sometimes called hot roll dry, is the basic first process steel. This product is meant for end uses where the structural properties of the steel is most important. Think about frames for trucks and other structural applications like that. From hot roll, we can send the coil through a bath of acid to remove scale and any rust that formed during the steel making process. After the acid bath, it's coated in oil to protect from rust or, or any additional corrosion. This improves the surface condition and is a little bit better than hot roll. The next step in the process that we can do is cold roll. Cold roll reduces to a thinner gauge material and tightens up the thickness tolerance and improves its surface condition. This product is best suited for applications where surface finish and cosmetic appearance are important. Think about doorways and metal applications for uh, industrial storage and things like that. Last but not least is our coated product. And here is where we have an excellent video to break down the world of coated steel. Hey y'all, I'm a hot roll sheet of steel. I'm going to be made into an air duct. But wait, that means I need to become more corrosion resistant. Let's face it, this mill finish simply won't cut it. So I need a bath. What type of bath you ask? Good question. You see my level of corrosion resistance will depend on the type of coating I get. For instance, see the one labeled Galvalume? It contains aluminum zinc alloy. That would definitely make me more corrosion resistant, not to mention heat resistant. My cousin, who's now a roof, got one of these baths. Or see galvanelled over there? That's a zinc iron alloy bath. That wouldn't make me as corrosion resistant as galvalume. I remember my friend, who's now a door, took a galvanelled bath. The good news is my friend can be painted without further surface preparation. But it did create a gray matte appearance. Um, uh, no thank you. This sheet has got to shine. Okay, well here's my bath, galvanized. It's a zinc bath. How much zinc, you ask? Well, that depends on the specified coating weight. The higher the weight, the higher corrosion resistance. Me, I'm going all in, G90. That means 0.9 ounces of zinc coating applied per square foot on both sides. And that means when I'm done, you'll be able to weld me, form me, and if you treat me right, you'll even be able to paint me. Okay, time to hop in.